Hello, welcome to the last bit of Sudokuvania, I'm pretty sure. Um, there are still some secrets to do. It is mainly this one. Solve the fast travel and then there's this, which I don't know what this is, but we'll find out. I think the first thing is the zip line. I, I looked at the rules and it says that pairs to the, uh, must sum to the center even if one of them is blank, right? So that does mean, since this is an 8, this cannot be an 8. So that so this cannot be a 0. So that cannot be a 4. So that cannot be a 4. But that does mean that one of those must have a value. And they together they must sum to 8. This value cannot be 8, and that cannot be 0. But they could be blank, I guess, but that cannot be an 8. Because if we look at this then, then this must be higher than an 8, and it's not. So what can this be? Or better, what can this be? Right, because I think then if you have 0, 0 with 8, 8 there, and this being a... Like, okay, my, my point is, can this be a 1 and that a 2? Then we're saying 0, 1, 2, no. Because then these cannot have a value. And that's 8 and that's a 7 that these cannot have a value. And then we cannot sum to 8 across the zipper line. So that doesn't work. Um, so that's not a 1. That's not a 7. Then that cannot be a 6 because that cannot be bigger than a 6. And so that cannot be a 2. Does 2, 3 have the same problem? Because then you can still have 0, 0. Then you could have some... Then you can only have one value between these. Yeah, they work the same, but in opposite directions. Okay. So the 2 doesn't work. So it must be the... Th so it must be the 3 and the 6, right? Because 4, 8 doesn't work. And this must be bigger than that one. Yes. So that is... 3, that is 6, that is 5, and that is 2. Now that can be a 7 and a 1. That's quite doable, I think. What can this be? Right, because these need a value. If that's 0, we can have 1 and 2 on there, and that's the only thing that is possible if we have 1 and 2 with a 0. And that's 7... 7 and a 6, and that must be the case, because 8, uh, yeah, 8, 8 with 0, 0. And that should be the zipper line on, solve the title. I, what? Is there a thing to solve the title? Um, I, I just have this. Um, what do the E and stuff mean? Does that have a conclusion? Wolf, spider, collectible coins. If that is four, if that's eight. Oh no, that's just eight, that's fine. Okay, if that's two, then that is a two. Now this, this is very obvious, but uh, what can be between, uh, between here on a whisper that's zero? Okay, so three different digits, that, so this is six, seven, eight, or nine. Well, okay, so if I sum, if you sum these four, you get 10, 10, and 10, so that's 30, 33 as a minimum for these, then divide by one, two, three, four arrows, 33 divided by four is a little bit more than eight. So it must be nine, right? Because if it, if it was eight, that would mean eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. That would mean that these would all sum to 32 and that's not possible. That's less than the minimum. So that must be a nine. Now, how do you make nine in four? Also, yeah, okay, so it's the digits one through four, okay. Um, 
So how do you make nine in a four by four Sudoku? That's only two, three, four with a one there. Right now the minimum for these is two and three. The minimum for these is one and one. Two and three is five. One and one makes seven. Hmm. So what now? <laughs> I, I'm not that sure. Uh, one of those is one. If that's a one, that is not possible. If that's a one, then the minimum for these is both two. So then we have four, but then this is three, four. And that's not possible. If that's a three, we get the same problem. Then this is two, four, and that's too much. So this cannot be a one. That must be a one. And then this, what can this be? This can be one, two, three as a six. So that just cannot be a four. That's it. So one of those is a one, I guess. And one of those is a one. Now, if that isn't a one, then that can, it couldn't all be two, I guess. So we would need one, three at least, but that's still seven as a sum. So that's fine. Um, if neither of these contain one, that's a problem. So one of them would must contain a one. Right. Okay. So if this is two, three, and that's two, three, so there is no one on this arrow. We have a problem, right? Because five plus five is 10 and that's too much. Um, so if that's a one, then that is a one. And then there is no one on this arrow. So that's not a one. We know that that's a one. And that makes that a one. Uh, so that's all the ones. Um, then that's together, that's two. So these together are seven. So how do you do that? The only way is with three and a four. If there is one of those is a two, the other one must be a five and that doesn't work. Okay. Now the minimum for this is two and two, three. So that is three plus five is eight. That's fine still. One of those must be a four. So that, so those cannot be fours. Do, must one of those be a four? Could both be threes? And we have six, we have eight, no. So one of those must be a four. So neither of those can be a four, so that must be a four. And then that must be a three. And then this is two, three. No, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I can tell, um, if that's a four, that's a four. If that's a three, that's a three, that's wrong. One of those must be a two. So this one might be incorrect. Let's go back to this, right? One of those is a one, that's for sure. If that is a one, then that's two, two, and two, three as a minimum. So that's not possible. That must be a one. Now we are left in a scenario where one of those is a one and one of those is a one. If neither of those contain a one, then there is no one on the zero. So those must be ones. And now we were left with a situation where both of those are the same digit. Ah, that's it. Okay. And they are three and that's a one. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think, I think that is it. I'm not sure, but I think that is it. Um, no, that's not a three. I think that is it. If that's a four, then we have five and then the minimum for this is five again. So that's not possible. That's a two. That's a four. If that is a four, that must be a one and that's not possible. So that's a two and six with a three. So that must be a three. 
two, four, four, and two. And how does that work? Seven, nine. Yes, that does. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's that's sort of I don't know sneaky. Um, how are you supposed to do the title? I don't think I don't think you can. Um, at least <laughs> apart from this, I guess. Um, what's W? Uh, oh, W. No, 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 no. W. U and W, okay. Um, the sum of eight. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I don't know if this is what they mean, but eight. Um, I feel like I solved the title. Oh, I did, okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for watching this. Uh, this was very, very short, I think. Um, but no, thank you for everything, the, the watching all of Sudokovania, all of this, all of this puzzle and all the bosses um, that have been done. In, in I, I would have never expected Sudoku as Logic Masters Germany to be used as a game engine like this, but this is great. This is, this was very well constructed from the beginning till the end. I thought the, the beginning hurdle was a bit steep at the start, but looking back at it, I think that is fair enough, because once you pushed through, you kept on pushing through, and it made made it so that the ending wasn't that big of a slap in terms of difficulty. It was just somewhat difficult throughout. I had to take my time and look, look at all the puzzles, uh, most of them like without recording, um, which I think... You know, that, that was more of a choice by me than uh, a choice from the creator's perspective. But this is, I don't know, I don't know. I, Looking back at it, I am very, very surprised by all the logic that was put in here. And every, every step was a logical step, right? There was no, uh, there was no givens. And every logical step was the same, felt in the same way fair. I, I never felt cheated or like when, when after making a deduction thought that it was unnecessarily hard. So I think that is a great thing. I think, I think that is a sign of very good construction and it kept steady as good construction. I was a bit confused with this. I don't know, I don't think it was for me totally, but that's fair, that, that whatever, right? Um, that that's going to be everywhere because I really like the Philomeno and I can understand if some people don't because it's very different to the rest. Um, I, I think ending it with a deconstruction puzzle was perfect. Uh, it had everything in there, chaos construction, deconstruction, Every everything that we know that I know from Sudoku, um, as as a as a general rule, right? As a more used rule, that is, I don't know. It, that's really cool to see how everything was done. I I am very very um, taken aback by this whole puzzle. I don't know if the eight was it, um, but no. Thank you for watching everything. Uh, and have a very wonderful day. I, I will be going back to more or less random puzzles that I enjoy and see, see where I go from there. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.